People need to know about it. Who here has seen Project X? Raise your hand. Oh, a lot of people haven't seen that movie yet. Okay. Okay. What would have happened if no one showed up to that party? <laughs> Wouldn't have been a party. The, on the bright side, the neighborhood would not have been burnt down. But, <laughs> but <laughs> no one would have showed up to the party. If you make an event, you better well as hope as people show up to that party, that people buy your products, that people come and get tutoring for that pizza, get tutoring for their classes. You need to make sure that people know about it. You need to make sure that the person across the street from Nova knows that something's going down at, at Nova. Nova's got talent, they better hear that band playing from the theater outside. People need to know about your event. For Nova Cram Week, we did a mix of things. We had flyers. The, the cool thing about flyer marketing, people think they post, flyer, oh, post flyers three days before the event. That doesn't work. Flyer marketing really takes about three to six weeks to really work around here. Because you only use the bathroom only so often in school. And, that, <laughs> and the flyers are in the restroom, so for example. You don't, if you look at the flyer board, how many of you actually look at the flyer boards outside, the green boards? Now, do you look at it for a specific reason or just because you're passing by? Passing by. Passing by. So there are people who do it. Now, who looks at the flyer board and is not involved in activities that don't have a specific reason? Okay. Well, you're involved in honor club, though. Okay. Sorry. Um, people who people who aren't involved in activities, who are just random students walking around, they are not looking on those boards unless they're curious. When they go into the restroom, at least they see the image on there, and they were like, oh, I saw that on there. And they don't know what it is, but that's branding your event. One of the things with flyer marketing, it takes three weeks to work because people have to see it over and over for people to know that the event exists. Facebook's the same way. How many people in here, since a lot of you guys know me, has received a Facebook message or a Facebook tag in the last four or five weeks? Almost everyone in here. <laughs> so, Facebook marketing works, but that's because I keep bothering you about it. That's awareness. I have to actually come up to you people sometimes and say, are you coming to this? That's the branding aspect. You already know that things have gone on, that I've messaged you, you've seen all the flyers, you may be annoyed by me by that time, and you already know that, oh, okay, now I can come to this event. One of the things that I presented last, last semester was the ABCs of social media marketing, awareness, branding, communication. This is a more non-intermediate, um, that was an intermediate seminar. This is a more of an expert type seminar. You should know how to use Facebook and actually how to brand your event on there. And if not, you can always email me and I'll send you that um, the presentation I did, which has all those nice things on there. Email, same way. Who here actually opens up Tiffany's email every time you, she sends you something? You're very, I, well we do it. <laughs> okay. We do. Three, she sends it so often that people, you eventually open up the email when she sends it over and over. Unless you work for her, where if we don't open the email as well, we're going to be terminated. Right, Ali? <laughs> so, but emails only work so often. How many times do you receive emails from like a subscriber service like Best Buy or Barnes & Nobles? How many times do you really open it? Once. Once. You read that subject line and that's what you see. When I want someone to open up an email and I send it a lot, I say, please read, I need help. You could write, I'm dying on there, maybe someone will read it. <laughs> no one ever reads it again, but no reason the first time. You don't want a false advertise. No false advertise. So, you know, free food, something free always does it. But usually people only read that subject line. Again, that's branding. So if you put Nova Cram Week over in that email in the subject line, even if no one opens it, opens it, they know the word Nova Cram Week. Then I go up to you and talk about it. Direct flyer marketing and club outreach. These are the awareness as aspects of advertising Nova Cram Week. These are the branding. So take an example. Can I borrow your phone? Okay. I'm going to go up to someone in the back of the room. So, how are you doing? My name is Sasha Lianza. What are you doing Friday night? Not much. You coming to Nova's Got Talent? Sure. You know what it is? No. <laughs> <laughs> Things sound very interesting. Brandy, Brandy. Nova's Got Talent, we got a break dancer, we got free food, we got a magician that connects connect people's minds, and we got a Nova Idol. But I hope to see you Friday night if you're not doing anything. Cool. Dude. She bring a girl with you too. Maybe a good, a good celebration. So. <laughs> Nova's Got Talent. That, if you had heard about it, and he saw all the emails and all the other stuff. He didn't know what it, he may have knew what it was, but he didn't have any specific reason to go. How many times have you gone to something only because someone has asked you to um, go there? And how many times do you actually text when someone invites you somewhere who's coming? 
No one asked to actually text that? Do you just come randomly? <laughs> Strange people. <laughs> Maybe it's just a girl thing. Like when I ask girls to come somewhere, it's like, who's coming? And I'm like, uh... Well, if I list every single person coming, that would be a long text message. <laughs> so, direct flyer marketing is the... How many... Not give another example. There's a new restaurant that opened across the street. That's your better example. How many people have Facebook and Twitter? Only because someone else had one. Okay. People, other people just joined Facebook and Twitter if they wanted to? Okay, good. How many people had gone to a restaurant that the new restaurant that opened up off town? And you basically went there just because someone else told you to? Because someone else said the good food was good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Jersey Mike's would be a good example of that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't around, you know, until like the last year. So that happened today, actually. I witnessed that. Mm -hmm. So, to make an event successful, to summarize that, you need to brand it so people know the wording, know what's going on. At the same time, you need to also be able to follow up and make them think about the event and why they're coming. Make it seem like someone else is going, that it's cool, that it's something that's useful. Sell it to them. Just sell it to them in a not, how you doing, direct marketing, but subtly. Say, you know, it's cool, I want you to come. I need your help. Or there's free food that always sells, especially here. So. Branding. To finish off this part of the seminar, the goal of a leader, the goal of an event, the goal of a project. You feed a man a fish, feed a man a fish, he will eat for a day. Teach a man how to fish and he will eat for the rest of his life. But if you teach a man how to teach a fish, I'm going to get alerted for humor. <laughs> teach a man. <laughs> Teach a man how to teach others how to fish. And the fish. How to teach. <laughs> Let me start that over. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> Doing great, Josh. Go of a leader. Teach a man. Feed a man a fish, he will eat for a day. Teach a man how to fish, he will eat for the rest of his life. Teach a man how to teach others how to fish. And a community shall eat for eternity. The goal of a leader is not when you put that event into place, when you make that event show up and it does well. It's when you leave, when you're not there, when you're in your vacation. That really matters if that event goes well. If you can actually educate the people that are running that event, that they know what they're doing and you don't need to be there. That you have officially delegated, but also are there if they, you need to get the work done. Same thing with an organization. A true successful business person has the people there to get the job done when they're not able to make it. But if they're there all the time, it's not a business, it's a job. With an event, with a club, your true success of your club leaders or you creating the event at a college or even in a, in a business is that when you leave that business or leave your job, or when you leave and go to your full university, does that event still exist when you leave and when you come back two years later? Is it even better when you, when you were there? And are the people there that you are making that event for, that you created that event, have you educated them? Have you made them knowledgeable to make that event a reality when you have gone? So a good example of this actually is Rapid Tree for an honors club. The honors club Rapid Tree exists even after the people who created it. They did a good job of educating the people to get it off the ground. Laura Gall was one of those people who actually put it off the ground this year. And they'll be doing, it's a yearly event that will keep happening. Nova Cranley will be the same way. With Nova Cram Week, we wrote the event step by step. Seven pages, it's not too long for a four day event that really incorporates three weeks of marketing and everything like that. Step by step how to do it. It's broken down by job description. You need someone to manage, you need someone to organize, you need someone to market, you need someone to organize a potluck. Faculty volunteers, faculty will help sustain Nova Cram Week. I really, you know, we, we, are, we are good students, but Someone really can't effectively sell us the ability to set up an academic event as well as others. Faculty who are more, excuse me, patriotic about the event will keep making sure it's, it's sustainable because their goal is to make sure that we do well in our classes. So what we did to brand our event, we added faculty volunteers here because they'll, they're here for an average of six years probably, teaching. We're here for only two years. We can only do so much. No, it's not our life. It's, it's something that we like to do. It's something that, a stepping stone to where we're going to go in our four-year university and our career. So, and the last thing is that sustainability. You build a structure to influence a culture. 
may I ask someone to tell me what that one is, that structure? Parfum. Parfum. When you think of the Parfum, what do you think of? Uh, Republic, Republican, Democratic, all the democracy. That structure has lasted for 2,000 something years, easily. It's lasted since BC times, Dova and Greek times. Dova and Greek times, wow. Greek and Rome times. Just seeing if you're listening here. <laughs> Nova's existence is Rome. So Greek and Roman times. And they're a symbol of democracy, of the republic. That structure has lasted over 2,000 years. Statue of Liberty, and I am from New York City, so I have the right to use this photo. When we look at it, we see this as a symbol of freedom, a symbol of immigrants who come to America and look at this as a source of, new, of a new life, the American dream. These structures have influenced cultures. They have influenced concepts. They've influenced our patriotism for America, for this one, and patriotism towards democracy in general as a concept. Your structure for an event, you know, awesome idea that's not going to have a big giant statue for them, unfortunately. Right? The event that you create in your club, they're not going to have giant statues erected all over Nova for it. But you can ensure that people know the concept of your, of your event, of your project. That people know that it exists, that it's fun to go to. I believe, and I will assure you, that Nova's Got Talent will live on even after we all leave. Why? Because it's a fun event to do, it's a fun event to perform in, and people will always be there to make sure, you know what, we make the need to make sure that Nova's Got Talent happens happens because at least people who didn't get in Nova Idol they have a second chance at their fame, you know? And it's a it's a fun event run by students, which is the uniqueness of it. Because Nova Idol is run by a lot more faculty. It's the first student run talent show that's existed a second year. And I bet you when we come back five or six years, we're all billionaires, just to let you guys know. <laughs> we're all gonna be billionaires when we come back. We'll watch Nova's Got Talent. We'll remember that you know we were part of that. We saw it when it first happened. Alright? Sustainability. You can't build a culture in a club. You can't build a culture in, a, in an event. But you can build a structure that influences the culture. The structure is usually conceptual. It can be by images, like with logos and Hershey's, right? We all love chocolate, right? That's a, that's a structure that influences a culture and a concept. If you can make, you can brand your event, your project, your organization that way, then you'll, you'll be a great leader. You'll be, a, you'll be sustaining leadership for <coughs> time to come.